Welcome back. We are doing a chat with Mike today. Mike has a tape measure in his hand. Mike, what's a tape measure for? <laughs> measuring. Measuring. <laughs> so today um, there has been a whole, a whole heap of discussion about storage. Teresa and I literally have banged on about storage for years. And with the forward lockers of hole one coming together and steps in place, gas lockers in place, it's time to really run through exactly how much storage you're gonna get. Yeah, so we've had a few questions about what sort of volume we've got in those lockers, what sort of size they are, and what they might get used for, because everyone's thinking about, I mean, the normal gear, sort of fenders, lines, sails, but then, you know, there's got space for generators, and just today we just wanna just sort of see what that size is like, because there's heaps of space in this boat. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely, I've already had a preview. There is a crazy, crazy amount of space, so let's get on hole one. Yeah. Get the tape measure out. Hello again, four deck of the 1370. Yeah. We've got a lot of lockers. It's crazy hot, right? It is hot. We're it is hot. In dust. It and it's like... going to be hot in the locker as well, but let's just get it done with. <laughs> okay, so it's a Ruby Rose after dark with Mike Reese in the locker. <laughs> okay, so this one, we're going to start with this big locker. Yeah, so we've got the, the, the main sail locker here. So we've got two locker lids on it. It's actually one long continuous locker. So we have a second lid on it because if you do go for a generator option, then we separate them forward and aft. So let's just take a look at the locker here. Open up both lockers. Now they're quite deep lockers. I'll just step down and you get a, uh, a decent feel for it. I'm uh, 173, okay? So quite a deep uh, locker. It needs two steps to get out of it, certainly. And in terms of the size of this. Hang on, Mike, let me just get down there with you because then uh, we can talk. Yeah. So I don't think people uh, perhaps have seen quite the, the, the scale of this or appreciate the size of this locker, but I'm inside it here and we are, that's 120 uh, centimetres, you know, 1.2 metres. What's that in American? We are on 47 inches, so, you know, nearly four foot. So, going this way, full height. Now we've got the compre mass compression post here, but we are on 230 centimetres or 2.3 metres, and that's 90 inches. Set over seven foot, yeah. And then this gas locker, right? So that's the gas locker, which also forms the uh, step to be able to get up and out because you've got to get two, especially in the back here, the, the locker does get higher as you go further aft. So that's LPG locker, which will be vented directly overboard. So it's a sealed locker, same as what we have on the 1160, 1260. So you put one foot here and then we've got a mock up here. We're going to tidy this up, make it a little bit smaller, but that'll then be up and out there. The eagle-eyed amongst you, all this stuff, this is not like in homage to ramp builders. This is actually just like, <laughs> it will all be tidied up later, yeah. I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so the forward locker here, the forward part of this locker is 800 millimeters. This area here is a, we've got a, a removable panel, which we will put across here if, if needs be. But if people actually want to remove it, then obviously this is a great location to put anything heavy, anything long you can put down here. So kite boards, you get a surfboard in here pretty easily, no problem. Can you please overemphasize to everyone watching this that if you weigh this boat down Indeed. with cans or things that are dense, your boat is going to sail like a dumpster. Indeed. Indeed. As a boat builder, it's great that we can do this, but it actually makes me a little bit nervous that we will have people putting too much stuff inside the boat. So, so anything more than Cheetos or polystyrene chips <laughs> exactly. and your boat is going to sound like a dog, yeah. right? Yeah. So Look, we've got low carrying capacity. So, I mean, the boat's geared up as a blue water cruiser, yeah, right? Yeah. So you can take a folding bike, you can take it. But if you're expecting to fill this, you know, chockers, then it's it's going to perform less well. There's, just, there's no questions. We've covered that in all of our previous stuff yeah, yeah. about, you know, weight versus performance. Well, there's probably, what, eight cubic meters in here. What? Yeah. Uh, it's six, a big six, volume. Four, yeah. So the point about that is that's six tons. Yeah. If you yeah. fill this with water, it's six tons. Indeed. We also have to think about where we store things as well. When you've got heavier things, you want them closer to the main bulkhead centralized. So this is where you want to put your heavy gear if you have got something heavy. And then in terms of sails and uh, fenders and things, then that's probably going to be more in one of the forward lockers. So we'll, we'll go and take a, a look at that as well. Okay. Okay, Mike, forward. On the 1370, we've got a port forward uh, locker only. The starboard side doesn't have it because of the starboard side, the internal space goes further forward. So I'll just jump in here. 
So this locker, as you can see, gas strut, sealed locker on the top. Good. Full depth. Height-wise here, we've got 150 centimetres, 1.5 metres, so nearly five foot. All right, let's yep. jump down. Wow. So just grab that uh, at the end there. Can I just say, why does this lot of almonds in here? Have you been using a side? <laughs> I don't like <laughs> mustard <laughs> pan. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Fritz stick. <laughs> So we've got 2.1 meters. Now this is going to be a wet locker. This being at the front of the boat is perfect for putting in your, um, for your sails, you know, keeping it nice and lightweight. You don't want to be putting your heavy equipment up the front here. So fenders, mooring lines, sails. It's a wet locker. We, we need to work out a way that we will have the, the sails elevated. So we'll have to have some sort of grate because this will be a draining locker. So it's important that we don't just have water sloshing around the base here. But yeah, this sort of versatile space, it's, you know, it's just a, very, you know, it's basic, it's a flow coat finish, that's all it is. You can throw anything in here, but again, it's trying to keep the weight down in the forward area, so this is their light stuff. Yeah, I mean, look, when we talked about this with Shane back in 2019, as, you know, wet locker, like some sort of drainage duct board so that you've got, and this is important, I've seen so many boats that have an area which is used for sail storage, but the sails sit in salt water and then it doesn't rot yeah. out. So like some sort of synthetic duct board here to keep everything dry, draining. A good step and then we talked about maybe getting some rails in so that up here you've got fender storage line storage yeah so you want to be able to grab your fender lines without having to climb inside the locker you yeah pop absolutely. the locker up because when, once you've got the traps in you'll access it from the side so you'll you'll put the lid up and then you want to be able to grab your fender line or your fenders or your uh, dock lines without um, having to jump in nice but again huge amount of storage and i've said this to you before even this locker which is probably about Half the size of the other one is more than all the storage we had on Ruby Rose combined. Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah but it's a big this, space. But because of its forward position, again, it's probably even more important that this is just super light stuff. Indeed, yeah, super, very super light. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Okay, Mike, let's uh, yeah. just climb out. Hi, right, Mike, what have we got now? We're all covered in dust. Yeah, sure. So then we've just got the lockers behind the tram. A little bit smaller than the other stuff, but they're still very versatile. They, they are quite deep. Now you can still go in, it's still pretty deep here, so what have we got? Full depth is uh, 700 millimetres, just over two foot, but you've got the, the forward shape here. So again, these are good for whether you've got exterior cushions or even fenders going in here, just general storage, buckets, cool. fresh I mean, water, hoses and things like that, pretty good for here. I mean, look, if it was convenient, I think because this is actually a forward seating area with cushions, if the cushions fit in here without too many problems, I'd probably stow them in here. Um, sure. Again, because it's keeping the weight forward as low as possible. Yeah, exactly, sure. I mean, cushions will go in there as well, but it is a good space too, yeah, yeah. if we can get them all in. Fit them all in, so then so we're coming- Locker one, yep, locker two. Locker two, so this is where you've got your, your windlass actually. So we've got the windlass that's actually out. This is a, a plate windlass, so we decided we decided to do our windlass installation uh, in a method that we can pull the whole plate out so you can access and service. So you'll see here, you've got a drill pattern on the top here. So that's a panel that goes down for which the windlass is mounted to. So if you do need to access the underside, you don't have to uninstall the windlass, you uninstall, uninstall the plate. It's all just down in, the, in that, you know, on this recess panel here. So it's much better for serviceability. That's where you've got all of your anchor chains stored in here. So not really storage in there, but still one of the other lockers. And then down here, we've got the same just as the uh, opposing side. So we've got further storage again in here. What really we're trying to highlight here is there's a lot of versatile space. Yeah. We've got big storage forward for lightweight gear. We've got a huge storage in the center here. If you have got heavy stuff, put it in, but really still needs to be kept lightweight. If that locker's full, the boat's not gonna be sailing uh, particularly well but it's there if you need it. I mean, if you're really traveling with a lot of gear on board, that's where you're going to store your stuff. Yeah, Yeah. look, it's all super interesting. And again, for what we want to do, we don't even need a third of this space. So that's with sails and all sorts of other malarkey. Very, very happy with just, and don't forget, this is just external storage. The internal storage for it's things for be. your lifestyle, you know, the bedding and other bits still hasn't even been discussed. Yeah. And until I guess the furniture's all in, we're never going to get a full appreciation of that. Correct. Yeah, and the furniture's just coming along now. We're getting, there's another delivery of furniture units coming through, so we'll be getting into that very soon. Brilliant. Mike, thank you so much. Say goodbye to everyone. Okay, bye guys. Thank <laughs> you. Don't fall in the locker, don't fall in the locker.
So what do you think? A crazy, crazy amount of space. Like we've done a really deep dive, literally and metaphorically into these forward lockers on the Seawind 1370. There's so much more storage gonna be inside, but I wanted to really share with you with Mike those whole, the dimensions, so we can kind of see what we're gonna have moving forward. Anyway, I really hope you like that. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and we'll be back again next week, I think, with another video detailing the intricate build of the Seawind 1370. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.